In this video, I want to share with you how to think like Nikola Tesla and how to sell like Thomas Edison. So Nikola Tesla had this really interesting way of coming up with his inventions. Whereas most people would approach things with brainstorming and logic and linear thinking, Tesla had a different approach. And he writes about it quite, quite extensively in his autobiography. What he would do, and he did this ever since he was a kid, is that he would slow his breathing down, he'd breathe very deeply, and he'd get into these very relaxed states, what you might today call trance states. And in these states, he would go on these like dream-like journeys into his imagination. And out of this, he developed incredible powers of visualization. And he would literally create his inventions in these visualization journeys. And he'd be conscious, but like in a dream-like state where he could direct his dream-like active unconscious. So in the East, they have this concept called the active unconscious. And it's basically this gap uh, between normal waking consciousness and sleep. And in the West, that's basically called subconscious processing. And in the West, you can measure that to some extent by brain waves. Normal waking consciousness is a beta brain wave state. Alpha brain waves are a step down, the brain waves slow, more relaxation, more ability for imagination, for creativity. And then even lower, you get into theta, which is associated with the hypnagogic state we pass through before we fall asleep. It's why we don't usually remember falling asleep. But you can actually be conscious in theta states as well, and they're very powerful for this conscious dreaming, lucid dreaming, that can be very good for creativity. So Tesla had this way of getting into these active and conscious states, and he'd done it ever since he was a kid, and he'd also studied with Swami Vivekananda from the East, who brought a lot of the Vedic knowledge that today is called yoga, uh, associated with yoga, um, to the West. And he really developed these powers of visualization that really allowed him to approach things that could not be seen, like electrical currents and frequencies and that kind of thing. So he didn't really think in this sort of modern sense of rational, brainstorming, linear thinking. He visualized. And thinking actually works best when we visualize patterns and we we flow from visual images in our mind's eye. So that's really what Tesla did, and it made him this incredible inventor. Now, so you come up with ideas, they're crazy, they're, they're far-reaching, right? As they say, if you're two steps ahead of the crowd, you're a crackpot. If you're one step ahead, maybe you're a genius. So you have to sell these ideas, and Tesla was not so bad at selling, but Edison was amazing. Edison was a masterful storyteller and he had this ferocity of which he believed in his convictions and he sold his ideas. Even when they were bad and wrong, he would never quit because he sold them with such conviction. And uh, often there were some blind spots there. But if you want to sell a new idea to people, you have to have this habit of ferocity. You have to really be consistently selling it and drilling it home and improving your story of how it provides value to people, how it solves a problem. And if you do that, you can get early adopters, then you can get later adopters, then you can get maybe mass adoption of your ideas or your products or your services. So what's really important is this creative way of thinking, of visualization, this active unconscious, these alpha theta states where we actually alter our consciousness through natural means to then think more creatively about problems, and then putting it together into a logical format in a story that says this is why it's important, this is why people need it, and this is the difference it's going to create in the future when it's adopted. So those are my thoughts on just the differences between Nikola Tesla and Einstein, two great people. Obviously, Edison is much better remembered today because he sold so much better his image, whereas Tesla was more the great, great genius inventor um, who actually died in poverty um, because he was so much of a rebel and, and in a ways a revolutionary that he came up against the establishment and the banking cartels that didn't like his humanitarian uh, feelings of, of giving things to people for free. 
So those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. And uh, yeah, please share in the comments if, if you use visualization um, in your work and uh, you know, dreamlike states or meditation uh, or flow states to get more creative. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, please give it a like and a comment and a subscribe if you really liked it as well. And if you want to learn more about this, you can also take my flow experience design training. I'll include a link to that as well if you want to learn more about flow states. All right, thanks a lot for listening. Bye.